Uh, thank you, Magnet Man. That's pretty thank awesome. You. All right, for the first time in more than 50 years, the United States has landed on the moon. Chesley, you got a chance to talk with Joel Kearns with NASA about the achievement, and there's a specific purpose to this mission? Well, it's really twofold, Cheryl. You're talking about commercial flights going to the moon, and now NASA partnering with them to get equipment into outer space. Take a look. It's been a renewed focus to go to the moon and explore places of the moon that have never been explored before by anyone and potentially use the moon as a jumping off point to send astronauts from there all the way out to Mars and other planets. Spacecraft lifted off successfully from Florida last week. It is the first private or commercial uh, successful landing on the moon. We also talked with uh, NASA expert Joel, Joel Carnes about when humans would be making their way back to outer space. Take a look. NASA announced that uh, we will be sending a, a, the first crew in many years to orbit the moon in late 2025, and then we're targeting to land the first humans at the south pole of the moon at the end of 2026. There you go. And so uh, Jonathan and I have some time to make it back. We were talking about that yesterday. Would we go? And certainly we would go. Now, our lander has about 12 to 13 days to explore before it runs out of solar power. And so we'll send somebody up there to go get it after that, right? They're going to the south pole of the moon because they believe that there is water up there, right? And so that's all about our expo space exploration, trying to find water on other uh, bodies or other planets. So if you find water, that means life could be sustainable up there. All right.